welcome back to my channel. So this is my last video of the night. I figured I might as well go ahead and get this film because I'm in the filling mood and that has not happened a whole lot lately. So I got to take every chance that I can get. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and quickly share a very small Ulta haul that I did. I had a $15 off coupon. Again, they send me a lot of them and it's on everything. And I saw some items that I was kind of interested in and wanted to try. Typically, these are items that I would not purchase. I did see that they were uh, very discounted and I had a $15 off coupon, like I said. So I thought I would pick up a few things from her line and give it a try. They also had a promotion. If you buy a mini, too many items, you get one free. So let's just go ahead and get started. I will try to put down below um, how much I paid for each item with the discount and the coupon. So the first thing that I picked up was the KKW Beauty Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Pink 5. She has like a set of nudes, a set of browns, a set of pinks. There was quite a bit. I believe this was discounted to $9. Um, that was the clearance price or sale price, but I think I got it cheaper than that. I did just notice that this is such a beautiful, mm, yay. This is such a beautiful packaging, but I did notice that mine was cracked and there it is. Do you see that right there? This is one thing I hate about ordering from Ulta lately. I've been so disappointed, stuff is so damaged. Yeah, that's just the case, but still, here's the piece in my hand right there. So I'll probably try to see if I can get that returned. Um, I don't know that they have this at the store, but I guess we'll see. But this is the color of the lipstick. It's really, really pretty. Again, this is in number five. Packaging's nice, although it was broke, like I said. Look how pretty that is. Super, super pretty. So I'm going to try to see if I can... That is such a beautiful shade. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can return it and get a new one, possibly. Don't know. Um, they may or may not have it anymore. They may or may not have it in store. I'm not sure, but we're going to find that out. Next thing I picked up was the, um, this is the concealer brush number two. I've seen a lot of the reviews. People said, don't purchase it. It's not a good thing. It's it's not worth the money. Um, but I did get, I believe it was on clearance for $9. And then I got some discount off of that. Um, but yeah, so it does have a sponge side right here. Sponge applicator side, kind of like the Tarte one. And then it has a brush side. Now in the picture on the website, a lot of people were really upset about this, is in the picture it is a more squared shape um, brush, whereas this is more of a dome shape. And a lot of people were upset that it did not, the picture is false and the picture is not correct because it showed more of like a flat top, more of like uh, up like this and flat top. Kind of uh, familiar, if you're familiar with the Sigma F80, um, that is a very popular, it was kind of like that, that kind of shape on the picture, but it's obviously not. So I'm excited to give this a try. Um, we'll see how it goes. It may be good, it may not. We shall see. The next product I picked up is the KKW Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Classic Bl Blossom. And the other one, I have too many shades like that. I mean, I have too many of this one as well. But I just thought this one stood out to me just a little bit more. The colors, I mean, they like... And, you know, the packaging is very simple. Nothing fancy. Uh, I would have never paid the original price for this. I feel like she could, for what she did originally charge, she could have did better packaging than this, in my opinion. It does have the names on the back. But this is what the palette looks like. It reminds me a lot of my Lorac Unzipped palette, the original. Um, but let's go ahead and just swatch a few shades. It feels nice. It's kind of dry, but... So 
they're kind of dry. I would say they're not buttery or silky at all. So I may not like this. I may return it, but that is the three shades right there. Um, so they're okay. Uh, you know, sometimes swatching doesn't give great first impressions. So we'll give it a try. If I don't love it, then I will definitely return it. Um, I've been telling myself that there's no need to keep things if I'm not in love with it. And Ulta has a great return policy and fill in the shadows. They're very, very dry. But we shall see how that goes. Um, the next item I picked up was from Kat Von D. This is the Shade and Light Contour Palette Duo. This is in light. And this did come a little damaged. I did press it back in. That is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute, very compact. Um, I had to press it back in. But here is what it looks like. The bronzer shade was almost out of the packaging, lifted up, and then there is the, um, I'm assuming, um, like translucent setting powder. This is a great shade for me. And they do feel very creamy, very buttery. Really excited to have this. It was on sale for $11.50. Again, I got it cheaper because, a little cheaper than that, because of the $15 off coupon that I had. So because I got that, um, if I would have bought one more thing, I got a free item. So I believe I got the free eyeliner. And then this is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is in a mini or travel size in Lolita 2. This is what it looks like. I have tried her liquid lipsticks or the old Kat, uh, these still say Kat Von D, so these are hers because I think the new brand is KVD. Okay, so anyways, um, I have tried them before and they are, smells nice. They are a little drying on my lips, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Um, I did just buy it. I believe it was um, $5.50 and then I got a discount on top of that. But I did just get it for the free item. And then the free item that I got was the Tarte Sugar Rush. Um, easy on the eyes clay liner this is in the shade black and I love the tart liners um, they're some of my favorites I think that they just last long here it says that they're waterproof they stay day and night 16 hour power um, self sharpening it does have a sharpener on the bottom and this isn't a small one so I thought that that was a great buy and I'm really excited to have that so that is pretty much everything that I picked up in this small Ulta haul. I think I paid less than uh, $40 or so. And then with shipping, it was about $40. No, excuse me, not shipping tax, about $46. So not too bad, I don't think. I think that was actually a really good deal. I'm definitely going to see if I could find that lipstick um, not broken because it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. But I did want to just come on here quickly and just share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy haul videos or you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. If you like them, if you didn't, uh, what you would like to try. Um, just leave that down in the comments. I'd love to um, talk to you guys and, and hear your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried any of the KKW products or if the... If you want to try some and which ones they are. They are really cheap right now on Ulta's website. So definitely check them out if you are interested in trying them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.